terrible tragedy that took place outside of Buffalo last night. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families and friends who lost loved ones. And as always, our thanks uh, go out to the brave first responders who arrived immediately to try and save lives. And we're still on the scene keeping people safe. Thirty four zero seven, turn left, heading three one zero. Left heading three one zero, Corbin thirty four zero seven. Corbin thirty four zero seven, 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 able to see the underbelly of the plane. It was only about 75 feet uh, above me when it crossed the road, uh, and it was literally within seconds of impact. Uh, impact happened about 10:17 because I had called 911 within seconds of, uh, of impact, and that's uh, that's the record that I got on my phone. My first thought was, you know, this sounds like a plane going down. A moment later, there was a loud crash and an explosion, and the house just shook at the foundation. And uh, I ran outside, didn't see anything at first, uh, but a few moments later, there was some additional explosions, and then the plane, huge inferno was up in the, in, in the sky, lighting it up, and, um, you know, it was pretty clear at that point what was going on. Grandma, who lives down the street here, uh, had called us and said that the plane had crashed. And we, we got here just a, a little bit before the fire trucks did, and uh, by the time we got out and everything, they were there. It, it, it was, it was, it looked like a bonfire, a huge bonfire. There, were, you couldn't even tell there was a house there. You couldn't tell there was a plane. And I pray that her family finds peace and comfort in the hard days ahead. Oh uh... 